So Pavlov just released its World War II update, and it adds tanks if you play the Stalingrad map on King of the Hill. Today I'm going to teach you how to drive the tank, shoot the tank, and just generally how to solo a tank as well. Uh, you're not always going to have three people in the tank, um, so sometimes you might need to work two stations at once. I'll teach you how to do that. The game is most fun when you have a full squad of three people in a tank, and the other tanks also have three people. Just <laughs> the most fun I've had in Pavlov by far is, is tank battles uh, with, with a bunch of players. So first thing you need to know is for all the tanks, you're going to have these four grips on the outsides, two on the left, two on the right. The front left grip is how you drive. When you get into a tank, you're going to have two levers here for the steering. This is all you need to know when you're driving. Basically, you want to kind of lean forward here, and you can look around, and you can see stuff. If you grab both uh, levers and push forward, you'll drive forward. Uh, essentially, each lever is covering one side of the tread. So if I pull back on the right, I'm going to kind of go backwards. If I push forward on the left and back on the right at the same time, I'll turn to the right. So you can use this to turn around uh, just by kind of turn, uh, pushing them in the opposite directions. And you hold it forward, obviously, to go full speed. So you'll kind of use this and get used to this to driving around. Now, as I'm driving around, I might get into a position where there's some enemies up ahead. And you're not going to want to just go drive and try to run them over. That's not going to work. Uh, say there's an enemy tank over there. If you don't have someone in your gun, you jump out and you jump in the gun. The way you get out of a tank is you grab the ceiling of the tank. And that will make you exit the tank. For all the tanks, the second... Uh, little grip on the outside is going to be what controls your gun and it's going to be confusing in here there's a lot more to do uh, but all the tanks are kind of laid out the same they have a top lever that allows you to tilt the gun up and down you just grab this and you spin it forward to go down and you spin it backward to go up so think of like you're pushing the muzzle of the of the tank gun down and then the front uh, or lower lever is going to be what controls left and right you can also zoom in, so see that tank uh, corpse way over there? If I wanted to zoom in and, and get a closer look at that, I could just hold f uh, forward on my left controls like I'm trying to move forward. So let's try to get that in view here. So now I have a tank in my sights. I need to load the weapon. Really, you should do this before you even start driving. What you do is you grab this to open the chamber. It even tells you how to do it here if you forget. You then grab the shell, and you just kind of, it'll, it'll follow a curve here. You place it in the basket, or no, you just place it right here, and you just drag it in it'll pop and that means it's it's good to go and you grab it again push it in sometimes that'll bug out when you're trying to push it in there's some bug with that i'm not sure if that happens try grabbing it with your left hand that'll usually work then you close the uh, breach i don't know the technical terms for all these sorry i'm just <laughs> hopefully that's correct and then to fire on all the tanks there's going to be like uh some red button to push uh i think on the, sh the sherman there's like a little control thing you click down here maybe but just look for the button click it and it fires then you open and just load another shell in and repeat the process. And you can do this really, really fast. You can also aim and shoot at the same time. So keep your left hand on and you can grab shells. Oh, you have to open the sh uh, breach or you won't be able to grab shells. Right, so if I wanted to aim left and reload at the same time, I could do that. Maybe there's a person rushing me, right? I can tilt the gun down to get the guy who's running up at me with the grenades or something and blow him up as well. So hopefully I've killed everyone. Like the other tank, I killed them. I killed whatever infantry are potentially there shooting at me can jump back out jump back in the front and go to another position uh, and don't be afraid to you know get get out of there if you're getting overwhelmed um, on the right side of the tank there is a machine gun this is much harder to switch to mid combat because you have to go around your own tank uh, and you might if your tanks rolling forward you might run yourself over and you go in the front so you probably want to go in the back and it'll take you a long time to get here there's a good chance people can shoot you while you do that this is the machine gunners little hole um, you should be able to hold it with two hands yep like this that reduces the recoil I don't think you really need to though. It's kind of weird to use, so two hands might make it easier. Pretty much, you're not you're not really using the sights. You're just man. I'm, I'm actually I haven't used this yet. <laughs> it's pretty weird. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but this is the essentially if if you can get good at this, you don't have to reload it either. It just uh, like has a cooldown every now and then. Um, this is what's you should be used to fight infantry, like people with uh, panda tricks or whatever they're called. Alright, so there's a guy. Let's go fight him. <laughs> Poor guy's running at me with a machine gun, so I'm going to blow him up. Turn left. Uh, he's behind cover. Let's zoom in. It can be hard to kind of multitask here. This is definitely not fair because he has a machine gun, but I'm using him as a demonstration. There, and now he's dead. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's how you use the tank. You can solo it, you can fight other tanks. Um, 
You can also repair tanks, so I didn't spawn with it, unfortunately, but there is an engineer kit that you can spawn with that will have a little blowtorch on it. You grab the blowtorch, and then you, you have to like hold down on the, there's like a black button that'll turn the gas on, I believe, and then you can hold the trigger down to like repair the tank. I don't know if you actually have to hold the trigger down, but that's how you repair a tank. Uh, so if you have that kit, it's a really good kit to get in a tank with. Um, sometimes also when you're in a tank, if you take enough hits, I think it's three or four hits, uh, you, your tank will stop and you won't be able to use it unless you repair it. And then one more hit, it'll blow up. And if it's on fire, it'll it'll blow up and kill you. In those cases, you got to get out and use your weapon, right? And just try to fight people off. If it's an enemy tank, you probably just need to run away and go hide in a building and um, try to get some backup or something. So yeah, that's how to use a tank. GG. We, we, we're almost, we've almost won. Okay. Uh, I'm totally fucking this up, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, take oh. the objective, take the objective. Oh my god. No, they're on the gunner! Ah, fuck, okay, I'm not gonna miss ah. this. Alright, we're in, we're in, I'm smoking the tank! I'm ready for him, right when he comes around the corner. There's two enemy tanks, I'm smoking! Okay, smoke I'm it, smoking. smoke it. Repair me if you can. Ba move, move I'm your left, yeah, move left! I hit him! Shoot! Rolling at enemies on the get him, get him! Holy fuck! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! oh shit, I'm sorry! Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Oh, that's actually insane! Look, I'm having so much fun with tanks. Holy shit.